hopefully final episode of this, but uh, uh contradiction lies in this stand. Oh my god, final episode! Just try to finish this game after like Shut up! Months. <laughs> Miss Sky, I believe this jar conceals a truth even you were unaware of. What? We found the final piece of this jar in Ga Chief Gant's safe. Is the chief safe? But how? <clears throat> I knew it. She really didn't know. There's something even more disturbing about the final. There was still blood on it. For the witness just testified that she gathered every last piece of it and wiped the blood off of it. Yes. Which leaves us with only one explanation. On the night, Prosecutor Marshall was converted. You were not the first one to show up on the scene. Chief Kent got there before you. But couldn't the defendant have simply missed a piece? I'm afraid that's unlikely. He's not too big for everyone, is that, that, let alone an ace to detect that may well be, but everyone makes mistakes. Even I want to waste an entire day looking for my dead choice. The air in my mouth all along. Ha! Huh, can you believe that? Please, sir. Have you forgotten, Your Honor? This witness arrived at the scene. The jar was already broken. Look that. There's no way a name could have been written on a shattered jar. Another person discovered the scene prior to the witness. I hope you're not implying this person was Chief Gan. At the time, he was looking for dark downstairs. Besides, you and if he was there first. Why would you break the jar? <clears throat> the question is, if he did arrive first, why did he find that fact for two years? Well, Your Honor, can you answer that? Mm. Yeah. No. <laughs> break down. <laughs> Wait, I'm not the one on trial here. Did that say trail? The judge has a breakdown. David Gant around the crazy bride of the witness. He received to break the jar. He purposely hid one of the broken pieces. Question. What is this action called? Fabrication! Well, why would you can't do that? <coughs> a lot of happened afterwards. Isn't it, isn't it clear? What happened afterwards? Discovering the scene, Lana believes her and her sister Emma killed the victim. Determined to help her sister, she sought Gant's aid. Leading her to his aid, Gant helped her create evidence that incriminated Dark. Sparing Emma. And here's the reason. The reason why Miss Sky became Chief Gant's puppet. Ow. No, I did it on my own. He says, so I'm trying to protect the Chief. I can't watch you suffer anymore for my sake. No, you didn't. It wasn't you, Emma. You didn't kill anyone. You don't believe anything was the right sex. Defense attorney make up the make up the he the he most <laughs> foul lies to the clients. Foul lies. Imagine that coming from my own client. I guess you do see the type of likes to twist the truth. <clears throat> Wait a minute. What if? We're still smack, smack dab in the middle of Gant's trap. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Lana, you may be right after all. What do you mean, right? So you, so you do some follow eyes on Mr. Wright? Miss Sky, please testify once more. But if evidence was fabricated behind your back, then that was accidental killing the prosecutor Marshall. It might also be a lie. But I do remember knocking over Mr. Marshall. Miss Sky, if you will. Yeah. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. This corpse determination may not be a thing. Change a thing. However, there is a possibility that it will. If you tell the truth. <coughs> Very well. I'll testify. About what I really saw. Alright. The witness may testify once more for the final time. The actual crime scene. Alright, guys. Oh god. When I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on the suit of Arma's sword. Emma and Dark were lying unconscious on the floor nearby. When I saw that, what happened? I thought she did. That's why I erased all the evidence that linked to the murder. I actually can't help her with the body from so I didn't carry it. But if it, but if it all really was the fabrication, Emma might be innocent. Unbelievable. The body was impaled on the Arma's sword. You were the only one who saw that. If only you 
you had proof. Actually, I do have proof. I gave it to Mr. Wright just this morning. What? To me? This picture I took on the crime scene as I encountered it. I thought it might be needed. Picture? What picture? Did you give me anything? I don't remember seeing a picture like that. I thought I was still known. See, Mr. Wright, she really does have faith in you. <coughs> Very well, Mr. Wright. Please present this picture. I don't remember seeing any picture from Lana. Also, she gave it to this one, right? I seem to remember getting something from her then. Let's check the evidence then. Again, there must be a picture of her somewhere. Once you tell the truth, we should be able to flush out the real murderer. Very well, the defense may now begin its cross examination. Oh god. Okay. Oh. Oh. <coughs> Come now, Yuji. This is the poorest excuse for a trial I've ever seen. Now you want to make me out as the bad guy too? If so, I'd like to put a word in it to my defense. Aha! I'm afraid it's too late for that. What? You already declined testimony. That means you forfeited your right to make statements of any sort. This must be the risk the judge was talking about. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the sound of news tightening around your neck. God. <laughs> Ugh, so what? You think I'm worried? Sorry to disappoint you. But I don't need to make any statements. What do you mean? The evidence will do all this talking for me. Even if I can't testify, I can still present evidence. Yes, that's true. Wait, you mean you still have some conclusive evidence? No, I don't. But someone does. So, so then, what's your excuse right now? Why have you why been keeping quiet about it? You do, some, you, you, have, you do have something to show us, right? Something that proves you're about to reveal no Marshall Cosmo is dead. Conclusive evidence that leaves no room for doubt. Is it true, Mr. Wright? If I show that piece of evidence now, it must surely be made out <coughs> as a murderer. Mr. Wright, if you have any more evidence, present it now. If you try to conceal anything, you'll be the one appearing before the board of the queries. What do I do now? I better think this through carefully. I can't afford to make the wrong decision. Did you ever that piece of evidence? The one that shows you really killed Prosecutor Marshall? Well, if I don't show it! <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I didn't have for the evidence. Alright, time the time is finally come to show it. Those prints have got to be the chiefs. Now then, let's see the conclusive evidence. The evidence that shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. There's a big handprint on it. Surely must have been left by the uncloth by the one shoved the victim into the sword. What? Whose fingerprints are on this? I'm sure Rhino has checked. Haven't you? 
Well, whose are they? <coughs> They're Miss Skies. Miss Emma Skies. What? They're mine? So I really did do it. See, I told you it was inclusive. This was found in your safe. I guess it's possible you forged it. I don't know, you were talking about it. I don't remember any cloth in my safe. You really expect me to believe that? But. Mr. Wright, it's over. You shouldn't have it presented that. For presenting that evidence, you tied Miss Emma Sky to the Mar Deal Marshall's death. Whoops! <laughs> Whoops! Oops. No. It appears we have our killer. Yeah, but... Well, that, that doesn't really affect us right now. No! No! Wait, wait, wait. Everything hinged on that point. Aww. Oh. In the end, Lotto sound guilty. Rip. Rip. Rip us. Rip us. Rip us! No, I did that on purpose, guys. I did that on purpose. Of course I did. Really? Oh, obviously, you're not supposed to present the evidence, so, you know, I can't. I don't have any evidence I present at this point in time. What? You lie. Chief Gant, you, you opened my safe. I know you took. I know you took what was inside. The conclusive evidence. I don't know what you're talking about. That's right, I'm not sure. We found it together. Oh, I see. It's because you know the truth, don't you? You know whose fingerprints are on it. That's how you were presented. <coughs> what are you talking about? Chief Gant? Can't you figure it out? Take a good look at this picture. See the victim's vest? Notice anything odd about the chest area? It's a part of the cut off or something. I mean, you had this. Safe? What? I mean, do you, Chief of Police, concealing evidence? This is going to be the biggest scandal in history of the police department. Impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you had the gall, Mr. Murrino. <clears throat> well, I can't just let you pin me up as a murderer. I'll tell you what really happened. What? You mean? Admit it? You admit to it? <coughs> I was the first person to arrive at the crime scene on that day. Then it occurred to me that I could use the situation to control Lana. So you really were manipulating her. <coughs> I knew Lana. If I made it look like a blame, lay with her sister. Now when she saw this crime scene, she would ask me for my aid. So you assisted with Miss Sky. I told her to arrange all the evidence. I had her plant the knife tip in the victim's body and moved the body across the room. And I ended up using that evidence to get Joe Dark convicted. I rearranged the crime scene. <coughs> I had two pieces of evidence. I, was, I did this before a lot of rock at the scene. Two pieces of evidence, you mean those items in your safe? But why? For insurance. Of course. Insurance. I was sure my plan would work, but it was always best to be prepared for the worst. I wasn't about to let anyone blame me for a murder and a girl committed. You mean you were calculating that far ahead while forging the evidence? Who do you take me for, a fool? I didn't make the police shit by dumb luck. See this jar fragment? <coughs> I had the most legible part of Emma's name. I didn't expect Bond to go and wipe the blood off of all the pieces. Fabricated all the evidence. What's to say you didn't fabricate the message on the star, too? Ho ho ho. <coughs> Some people just don't know when to quit, do they? That's why I cut one more item for insurance. You mean that piece of cloth? Come on, Rhino. Cough it up already. Uh, Alright, I know you can. You waited for us, right? So you admit to it then, Chief Gant. That you were hiding the cloth you cut off the victim's vest in your safe. Yes, I admit it. I didn't want to have to do that, being chief and all. But it's a lot better than being portrayed as a murderer. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you have to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you said you didn't have any evidence to present. 
full of shrooms right now. You should have shown it then before it's too late. It's been a long battle. <coughs> but the moment of truth has finally arrived. As long as I don't mess up here, victory is mine. Uh... Well, knowing that Senor messed up, <coughs> showing the evidence, maybe I should just say no and be that way because I'm I'm a point stuff. Am I supposed to do that, Fry? <laughs> Fry, help! <laughs> Fry, help! <laughs> help! 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 Help me! Help me! Police! 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 Okay, fine. I'll do it myself. <coughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Well, I mean, might as well show it now. I have nothing to lose. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I actually do. <laughs> I do have a answer that. Alright then, let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence I show is who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's chest. Oh, yes. At last, you finally brought it out into the open. There's a hamper on this piece of cloth. Your Honor, the prosecution re requests that immediately be sent to laugh for analysis. The hamper on the le leather there must be a strong impact for it to be left so clearly. You mean, it could not have been forged. There must be authentic, conclusive evidence. You are slow on the uptake as ever, really. But, think about it. Mario had all this time to present this evidence. Yet he was reluctant to do so. What would that be? You mean you already know? You know who those fingers are on that? <coughs> Mr. Wright, do you really know? Whoever the fingerprints belong to must be the real murderer. Whose fingerprints are they? Belong to our Emma? Emma Sky? What? You're mine? I'm sorry, Emma. But why? Why did you tell me? Ho ho. You're really something right now. You knew this girl did all along. She's still trying to pin the murder on you. So it's true. Tragic but true. <coughs> the girl really did show prosecutor Marshall to his death. How could you? You, you monster! Sky. You knew who those whose fingerprints were on there all along, yet you acted like she really did it. Miss Sky, it's not over yet. What? I said this trial isn't over yet. Huh, but I'm afraid it is over, boy. Not only this trial, but your career, too. You purposely concealed this conclusive evidence. Now, my friend, it's a serious offense. Looking forward to pressing charges after the defendant is convicted. I'll have your badge, boy. <clears throat> What's the matter, cat on your tongue? Aren't you going to tell us how it feels? How it feels to be the one who single handedly turned that poor little girl into a murderer? <clears throat> Before I do that, there's just one little thing I have to clear up. Oh? What's that? Who really killed the prosecutor? Who really killed prosecutor Neil Marshall? What? Chief Gam, you are absolutely right. This piece of cloth proves who the real murderer is. Who killed Neil Marshall, you ask? It was Emma Sky, wasn't it? I'm afraid that's not possible. You see, this piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. What? A contradiction? What is this fool babbling about? <clears throat> I'm talking about a contradiction. Well, that proves who the killer really is. Right, this piece of cloth. Who could it possibly contradict? She can't. Your tyrannical reign ends here. Behold, a piece of evidence that contradicts his cloth. Well, <clears throat> let's look at that picture one more time. Notice how there's blood on the vest, but also on his shirt. Yet, none of it is on the piece of cloth. Which should be weird. 
what exactly is supposed to be. <coughs> this is the picture of the sky, so take a good look at it. See where the piece of his vest was cut out? Yes. The shirt is showing underneath. It's hard to make out with all the blood on his vest, though. Exactly my point. His chest is soaked with blood. It's only natural. His lungs are no doubt pushed from blood pour out of his mouth. With that piece of cloth. Wait. There's no blood on it. <clears throat> Seems Emma Sky's fingerprints are on this cloth. There's no doubt that she showed the prosecutor aside. However, Mr. Marshall was not impaled on the sword. Well, that's, that is nonsense. Now that she Let me ask you something. How scared Marshall was not impaled when he showed the sign? Most likely his head on the ground was knocked out. If so, tell me, who could have been? <clears throat> who could have arrived in the scene before the sky? Picked up the prosecutor and impaled him on the armor's sword. There. Then, to make it look like Emma was responsible for that, said, said person Emma proceeded to write her name on the jar with the victim's blood. Then he broke the jar on purpose to leave behind a clue. And made it make a lot of leap system did. Remember what you admitted only moments ago? That uh, you personally cut out the bloodless piece of, of the victim's chest? Best. Ironic, isn't it? Though, through creating the very through the very act of creating insurance, you prove that you were the actual murderer. No! It's finished. But hmm. objection. How's objecting now? Yeah. <laughs> that was close, right? You almost had me. <clears throat> Sorry. But you'll have to do better than that. I refute all your allegations. What do you mean? I refute all your allegations. See, that piece of cloth. It's illegal evidence. Order, order. What nonsense is this? Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a suspect. Earlier, Will right here concealed that piece of metal cloth. <coughs> so then, what's your excuse right now? You do have some conclusive evidence, don't you? Your Honor, I don't have any evidence of it that I this point in time. Well, that's true. The defense did refuse to present evidence. At that moment, that piece of cloth ceased to be legal evidence. That's not fair. Oh, ho, ho, ho! <clears throat> Did you actually think you could best be in court? It looks like the last laugh's on you, son. Okay, son. I'm afraid Mr. Gant's claim is illegally could be correct. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? True. Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a person. <clears throat> Assuming, of course, that the evidence is indeed illegal. Mm, well, Mr. Wright? My plan has finally arrived. Is it right? Do you have to do you admit to it? That you purposely and legally conceal the piece of evidence? Wait, I certainly. I refuse to present the evidence at all. Haha! So the evidence is illegal. <coughs> no, it isn't, Mr. Gann. Yeah. Huh? It's not that I didn't present evidence then. It's that I couldn't. What do you mean you couldn't? There are certain procedures involved in presenting evidence. No, Yuji, don't listen to his lies. He's nothing but a coward. You can't let him. You can't let him. There's only one issue left to be resolved in this trial. Is this evidence legal or not? Very well. Let us settle this once and for all. Once you're oh yeah, you refuse to present evidence. If you can prove your conduct, your conduct is not in violation of the law, then do so now. This is my proof, Your Honor. Evidence Law. What's this? I've done my homework too, Chief. Indeed, Emma Sky's fingerprints are on this piece of cloth. However, at that point in time, this was merely a piece of cloth, nothing more. Huh? What? You see, it's written right here in this book. The second rule of evidence law. Rule 1. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. I found this piece of evidence myself. Inside your safe. It goes without saying, I did not have a proof from the police department. Two, register evidence presented is relevant to the case of the trial. And here is the crux of the matter. 
You see, at the time, it was impossible to prove the relevance and relevance <coughs> between the cough and the SL9 incident. What? What kind of nonsense is this? You want relevancy? Just take a look at this picture and... Sorry, but you can recall. You recall was that picture when that picture was presented? That was shown only a few moments ago. No. He's right. At the beginning of today's trial, that piece of cloth was still meaningless. That person who gave it the value of the sevens was you, Damon Kant. You yourself confessed to a certain truth. <coughs> Let me verify this one too. On the end of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's chest. Best? <laughs> oh, yes. Haha! <laughs> No! It was then that you approved this clock as conclusive evidence. <coughs> yes, you, the chief of police, personally approved this clock. The only person who could have cut this one to make them fast. So much was stood before Prosecutor Marshall in his final moments. In other words, the real murder. And there's only one person who could that who that could be. Damon Gant. The killer was you. No. Seizure! Seizure! Ah! Ah! I knew I should have gotten rid of him. That good for nothing scum. For two years he's been swimming around the apartment trying to get something on me. Crimes are being committed every day, yet he insisted on counting me. Well, your crime wasn't exactly petty. He wanted to reinvestigate the case. He recruited Angel Star, then convinced Bruce Goodman. Detective Goodman? Yeah, that's right. If the evidence is transferred, I'll lose my only chance to find out the truth. Please, you've got to help me. Goodman turned him down, because he ought to. Still, Jake Marshall didn't know when to quit. <coughs> he stole Goodman's ID card and tried to take evidence. Goodman came to me that day. He wanted to file a lost item. Then all of a sudden, all of a, he had to speak out. What are you talking about, Goodman? Can you be over the investigation, Chief? You can't trust me with the evidence out. There are too many questions left unanswered. He told me to open up the evidence room and take it out. So that's late. I'll hand this to the marshal. Well, to be honest, I was a little panicked too. I had a feeling about it. I had a bad feeling, but I never knew it would come to this. That's when I saw it. That embarrassing knife. <clears throat> I, just, I couldn't just pull it out. It would only increase the amount of blood, and you couldn't finish what you started. You didn't sell this blood, it was just pouring out. I didn't know who my son was in, so I was wiping it up. I was worrying so much that I knew I didn't realize my mistake. I think I'm shoes. Bloody handprint. It used to be known as a prime computer. Everyone just has to start somewhere, right? I guess I was too nervous. I had no business doing any of it. Then you put the body in my car? I'm sorry. I couldn't think of any other way to move the body. You broke the trunk. But what's the big deal? You pulled down a lot more than us detectives. <clears throat> what does this have to do with anything? You're horrible. How did you get Miss Kyle in all this? Well, she had much as, as much to lose as I did if the truth came out. They shook the evidence from Detective Goodman's locker. I feel bad for her to go. I couldn't sit around and pick what to choose and take. <coughs> well, you left the jar fragment on the enclosed. Yeah. Looks like I was better off being an investigator of crimes than a committer. They all did their best to get in my way. I gotta hand it to them. They did the jobs well, much to my dismay. Fake evidence doesn't hold up very well upon close to examination. You must have known that. Tell me, worthy. What are you doing in court? Me? You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. One day you'll understand. If you want to take that on alone, you'll figure out what's needed.
Well, looks like it's time to say goodbye. Oh, Yuji. What? Looks like we'll have to cancel that lunch date. Sorry, old friend. I'm sorry to do it again. I knew you <coughs> as you used to be there. You're once a fire investigator, an example to others on the force. I'm sorry to learn that you are no longer that person. Those days are gone now, Yuji. Thanks for all the memories, though. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Now you have right now you have right over here. Can't go wrong. Let me see if I can listen, listen carefully right here right now. The sound of a new beginning. There are two things I want to do now, just Yes. First, your sister never hurt anyone. Second, you even get betrayed to the beginning. You see, Miss Young. You no longer have any reason to keep a sound. You're right. <coughs> when this trial is over, I'll tell everything. These past two years, the time I had to get healthy from the evidence up to today. So, it seems all the questions raised in this trial have been answered. I'm sorry, Miss Guy. I couldn't get you out of all your trouble. My, my. What high standards you have for a rookie. I can see why Mia thought so highly of you. Who knows? A few years from now, you just might make it to the top. Oh my god. What? Waifu! I'm sorry, this guy. <laughs> it's you, Mr. Edgeworth. You've suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days, believe me. I know how much of an ordeal has been for you. <laughs> it was nothing. <coughs> Liar. I was worried how the pressure might break you. Yeah, you rose above it all and got into the right to make You've done well, Mr. Edgeworth. Stop it! I only did my job! In light of this case, it seems a good stuff like examining is in order for all of us. This guy? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor is an upgrade, however. But when the Chief blackmailed you, the fact that it is you still act as his accomplice. The trial will be scheduled for these crimes at a later date. Yes, I understand, Your Honor. She's so happy, though. Is there something amusing about all this? Why are you smiling? It's been a long time, Your Honor. A long time since I found a few of these heavy chains. This court finds the defendant is lost guy. Oh my god. That is all. Court is adjourned. Oh my god. Come on, this is finally over. Oh no! Oh, oh there it goes. Emma. What a long face. Sorry, you said you could get completely off the hook. But at least she wasn't convicted for a murder she didn't commit. <coughs> no, that's not it. Just now, after the trial ended. I can see why Mia Faith thought so highly of you. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Being, being pretty good, okay, whatever. No, I did my best too. I didn't say a single word to you. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. God damn it! Oh. Guess I am. Come on, later. Damn it! I comes to you. Ah, does that come What is it? Doing this on her side, you. Making your head run out of the top while you call me here. So you have your people off your room. Hey, let up, house. I'm only kidding. Oh. Are you here because you're my sister again? <coughs> no. This one. Even because of you, pal. Me? That's right. I thought you'd like to see some. Anna, should you be doing this? She's still under arrest, you know. Shh. Well, I won't tell you if you want. <laughs> no one knows. Come on, I owe you an apology. Okay, it's okay, sis. Don't worry about it. <coughs> Two years ago. Keeping you from getting wrapped up in all this. 
I'll be waiting for you in the court. Girl. We be getting back to <coughs> See, you still have, you still have a lot of work. Okay, this is a little something for you. Scientific investigation. It's the first work I ever bought. Study it well. Thanks, Sus. I will. So, another case came to a As with sisters, I think. Never see Lana again though. <laughs> As for me, I think it's time I start on a new journey of my own. Journey to discover myself. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Well, don't go checking off just yet, pal. Huh? What is the heck? There's just a little matter to be resolved about the chief prosecutor. So she's supposed to be out of jail. Uh, I thought you said it was okay. Yeah, well, maybe okay with me with the folks in the prisoner in general story. Huh? Basically, I had to bribe a guard in order to see her out for 30 minutes. Leave it here with the cheap either. Huh? Where you go? I didn't know you had a wild side. Yeah, well, huh? <laughs> you see, Mr. Right here is the one who will be footing the bill. Huh? Huh? Wait, what, you think I can afford that with my salary? You gotta be kidding me, pal. Huh? Huh? Dang it, you're the best. Why is it I suddenly feel like I want to scream? <coughs> Why don't we all go together? Yeah. That's a great idea. Come on, guys. Let's go. Finally over. Oh god. Well. Yeah, so you can uh you know have I guess a mini game. <laughs> That's it for um, Rise from the Ashes. I finally finished after like months. Uh, yeah. <coughs> I also I'm also sick while doing this, so you know I wasn't fast. It looks just with Billy.
right way, Lunch. It's right. <coughs> There's obviously something else we all want to eat. And that's not the food. <laughs> I'm not doing it. So yeah. 